Bye, Smart. Oh, so close. It's okay. Super Scotties are students with physical or mental disabilities. They have special needs or concerns that we address on multiple levels, and we decided to put together an inclusive sports program on our campus where Super Scotty nice. students and up. general education students would come together in a varsity sport. They'd practice skills and drills in that sport and then be able to have a showcase night and be a part of that team for at least one night. Nice! Woo! Field hockey is happening for the first time ever in our Super Scotty sports <laughs> program. So tonight during the field hockey event, they'll be partnered with a varsity athlete and Riley Powers has put that all together. Today is the Super Scotty Sports at Helix before our LCAP game for field hockey. The Super Scotties will be joining us from 4.40 to 5 o'clock and show their parents, families, friends, and all of their Helix peers what we've been working on and how incredible they are. Riley is a general education student. All students at Helix their senior year have to do some kind of service or building based activity and Riley decided to do Super Scotty Field Hockey as her senior project. That means she's gonna spend at least 40 hours putting together, planning and implementing a program. Today I practiced with them doing some dribbling, some passing, some hitting and some pushing. It depends on each student, some just like to push it in but many like to just hit it, which is really good. And they all have their different strengths, so it really was really cool to see. All of the students are really excited about it because it's new equipment that they've never gotten to use before, and I had no idea how to play <laughs> field hockey. And so it's just, you know, we have a new stick and a new ball, and the students got to explore something that they've never, ever had the chance to even, like, touch before. They've been working so hard and it means a lot to see how far they've gone from not being able to really do as much with a stick to actually fully using a stick and pushing, passing, hitting, dribbling and making new friends. They're going to meet the field hockey team which are basically the people I'm with every day. <laughs> so both of my worlds are colliding let's say. They've been working so hard and I really want them to make an impact on everybody. The Helix High community showed up to watch its Super Scotties make their first ever debut with the varsity field hockey team. With a warm welcome from the cheer team, it didn't take long before the Super Scotties were showcasing their skills and scoring some goals. It has been an awesome thing to see that they take it very seriously. They're really excited and they really feel like they're a part of the team. And that's, I think, one of the best opportunities we have for inclusive sports is we're really just trying to make them be seen, be heard, and be known on our campus and that they can do just as much as our gen ed students can with maybe just a little bit more modification. They were able to learn the little tiny steps and Riley broke it down for us so that it could be understood by everybody. For the Super Skies, just pick it up like nothing means so much. For tonight, it's kind of special that it's something that we've never done as Super Scotty Sports and something that's being led by one of our peer tutors. So it means a lot more to the students, to the peer tutors volunteering, um, and to the, the team that they're working with. It, it's kind of amazing that everybody came together. The Super Scotties brought their A game and left a lasting impression for all. Riley Powers took her passion of field hockey and shared it in a big way. This senior project not only brought about change for the Super Scotties, but perhaps set a new path for Riley's future. Riley has blossomed not only as a peer mentor, but also as a friend and uh, basically a helper for these students. They see Riley in different levels, not only as a peer, but also an instructor and a coach, and that has just shown tremendous growth for Riley and pushed her out of her comfort zone, which I think is one of the best powers of the Senior Project, is really forcing kids to create something that's either never existed before or something they've never done before and really stretch their current abilities and test their boundaries. It's been really cool to watch one of my peer tutors go from, you know, a student um, learning how to work with Super Scotties to leading and being in charge and showing the students what to do and how to do it and taking it on in a bigger kind of way. I've definitely thought of doing this in the future and it's really impacted me to where I should be heading. I'm not set entirely, but I definitely am looking towards special education as a career, thanks to Miss Kim. She's really inspired me. That's 
One of the most meaningful things about being in charge of the peer tutor program is that I get to see my students go from high school age to then expanding their horizons and learning something new about themselves and becoming passionate about something that I'm passionate about. One of the biggest takeaways I want people to have from Super Scotty Sports is that the idea that just because someone is different or does something differently doesn't mean they can't still do something. Um, our students may not be scoring a half field field hockey in the air shot, but they're certainly taking that shot. Um, and we want to make sure we provide those opportunities to every type of student on every part of this campus. Three,